Okay, this is a lecture number 6 of module 1. The module 1 is basics of control system and transfer function. So, this is a lecture number 6. This is once again we are finding a transfer function of an electromechanical system. In the previous lecture, we have seen the electromechanical system was armature field controlled DC servo motor. Here, here field controlled DC servo motor. Okay. The question is like this. Uh, in the previous lecture, I have shown uh, two electro, once again I will write uh, electro mechanical, electro mechanical system because input is electrical, output is mechanical. So that there are two standard systems that is called armature control DC servo motor. Already I have told servo means what closed loop control system. Here field controlled, field controlled DC servo motor. So in the previous lecture I have covered armature controlled DC servo motor. In this lecture I will cover field controlled DC servo motor. The question is find transfer function of transfer function of field controlled field controlled DC servo motor. The answer first I have to draw a circuit both electrical as well as mechanical combined. So now the input is there is a register and it is an inductor. This is called LF field resistance, RF field resistor and field voltage I have applied and field current will produce because voltage I can vary so that I have written in the terms of time. Here there is a motor and here there is a CT and J. Here armature current is equal to constant. Armature current is equal to constant. Due to mutual inductance, due to mutual inductance, the motor runs here from the voltage will develop, EMF will develop due to inductance, the motor will run. So once again I will write, especially J is called, I will write here, J is equal to mass disc, actually the mass moment of inertia. Especially if it is a disc, J or I, half m r square k z meter square j r i c t is equal to damping coefficient c t is equal to damping coefficient that is newton meter per radian per second there is a oil there is a piston and cylinder there is a oil there is oil it is rotating here it is a close one here inside there is a oil and i is called armature current and IF is called field current. You know RF is called field resistor and VF of T is called field voltage input. This is the input. What is the output of the shaft? Here the torque as well as torque as well as theta angular displacement. But I want there are two outputs, but I want final output theta of S input. So, Laplace of output divided by Laplace of input that is called transfer function. That is called transfer function. So, now here in the previous case in the armature field, armature control DC servo motor, four equations we have written. 
the first one was mechanical second one is a uh, second and third are electromechanical and fourth one is pure mechanical but here you write only three equations the first one we have to write three equations the first one equations are equations are first one ele pure electrical electrical equation second one is called electro mechanical equation input is electrical output is mechanical third one is pure mechanical equation there are three equations you have to write okay first i'll write a electrical equation how to write a electrical equation you see here the input voltage the input voltage is nothing but what the voltage across resistor plus voltage across inductor no uh, motor no emf no back emf directly the applying switch of second law the input voltage is equal to voltage across resistor plus voltage across inductor now it's a differential equation i'll take a laplace transformation we know that the laplace we know that d of dt d by dt is equal to s and t equal to wherever t is there i'll write yes d square by dt square is equal to how much s square so like this i'll, I'll take a laplace transformation now p f of s is equal to rf is a constant i can so i'll take outside the laplace i f of s plus lf d by dt is s and f of s so now i'll take f of s is common and rf plus l f s this is equation number 1 this is equation number 1 here this is intermediate output so i have to remove this intermediate output now second equation is called electro mechanical here you see that mechanical is a torque this torque is depend on what field current not the armature current armature current is constant mm -hmm. if i increase the voltage so definitely the current is increases so that torque will be increases this is called uh, high torque motor compared to armature control in armature control high speed and here high torque so now here i'll write the torque is directly proportional to the field current and now torque t equal to kt f of t what is a kt what is a kt kt equal to shaft constant shaft constant now taking a laplace transformation okay suppose this equation number 2 equation number two. suppose the uh, equation number two. now the finally i'll write one more equation it is called pure mechanical equation pure mechanical i'll take a i'll take a disk disk so this disk will try to rotate by the motor t immediately it opposes by inertia torque newton meter applying torque is newton meter then so definitely there is a torsional damping torque newton meter torsional damping torque ct theta dot theta dot is the angular velocity of the shaft theta double dot is the acceleration of the shaft angular acceleration radian per second now applying the elements principle under equilibrium clockwise are positive and anti clockwise are what negative so now j theta double dot t plus ct theta dot t equal to t of t equation number 3 now equating 2 and 3 equating 2 and 3 so the torque term will be vanish okay because i want theta of s there are two output but i want final output theta of s so equating 2 and 3 equating 2 
and equating to and three. So I can write now I can write the equation. Which equation? Kt Kt i of of t equal to j theta dot inertia mass moment of inertia theta of t. Now I'll write in a differential form. I'll write r kt f of t equal to j theta d square d t square plus c t Now taking the Laplace transformation to this equation, taking the Laplace transformation, you know that once again d square by d d square is equal to s square and d by d t is called s and wherever t is there you write s. Yes. So now I applying the Laplace transformation that is j d square by d t square is s square plus c t d by d t is s theta of s. So current r f of s is equal to j s square plus c t s theta of s divided by k t. This is equation number 4. Now finally you have to substitute equation number 4 in 1. Finally you have to substitute equation 4 in 1. Finally, we have to we have to substitute equation four in one. Okay. Now, if I substitute equation four in one, p f of s is equal to i f of s. i f of s is the but j s square plus c t s theta of s divided by k t into Rf plus Lfs. Now, the theta of S divided by Vf of S is equal to Kt divided by Js square plus Cts and Rf plus here yeah, of yes. Then in the previous case plus KB, KB, okay, KB is now 0. So KB, KT into S that is 0. So that this is called a final transfer function of a field controlled DC servo motor field control DC servo motor okay so here there are three equations I took three equations I took the one is called the electrical two are called one is called electrical second one is called electromechanical third one is called pure mechanical so applying first equation applying to Chuff's law Second one is torque is directly proportional to current. Third one is T of T equal to J S J theta double dot plus C T theta dot the opposition. How to remember this opposition of a disc J S square plus opposition of a damper C T S plus opposition of electrical R F plus L F S and above is K T above is K T. This is a way to remember the transfer function. Okay, these two are the previous class and this, this two are very the model questions for electro mechanical system. So I hope you understood. Okay, thank you.